In every wound type, the healing process runs through a cascade of phases, which partly overlap in time. The immediate reaction to injury is a contraction of the capillaries to reduce bleeding. Red blood cells and platelets released from damaged blood vessels flow into the wound, aggregate and produce a plug or clot in the wound. The first step in the inflammatory process is dilatation of the capillaries. Increased permeability of the capillary allows serum and white blood cells to migrate into the wound area. Here, the white blood cells differentiate into different cells, including neutrophils and macrophages. Neutrophils and macrophages are attracted to the damaged cells and bacteria by chemical substances. They become phagocytic and engulf dead tissue and bacteria. Once all the dead tissue is eliminated, the inflammation gradually subsides. During the proliferation phase, the wound is filled with granulation tissue. Granulation tissue consists of newly formed capillaries and connective tissue. The formation of new capillaries, angiogenesis, ensures that nutrients are supplied for granulation tissue formation and is essential for wound healing. Fibroblasts are the predominant cells in the proliferation phase. They migrate into the wound site from the surrounding tissue and start to multiply. In the last part of the proliferation phase, the wound is made smaller by wound contraction. Wound contraction is brought about by specialized fibroblasts with contractile properties called myofibroblasts. When the granulation tissue filling the wound is almost at level with the surrounding skin, re-epithelialization starts. The epithelial cells change shape to facilitate locomotion and crawl across the wound bed to cover it. Migration stops as soon as cells regain contact. The cells change back to their normal appearance and reattach themselves to the basement membrane. The wound is closed. The transition from granulation tissue to scar tissue involves reorganization and maturation of collagen fibers to maximize tensile strength. During remodeling, the fibers are orientated along the lines of tension and cross-linked to form a strong wound. Remodeling can take up to two years after wounding.